Hello and welcome to Quixotic Academy. It's been so long since we have posted our last video. Okay, so in this video, we will talk about arrays. We already know what arrays are. They are used to hold similar data and we already know how to index arrays. But this time we are going to solve a past paper question to really use the arrays. So in the question, we have a flowchart available that represents a program routine. So the flowchart says in the beginning, set the values of flag and the count equal to zero and one. For beginners, I suggest if you see a flowchart and you are asked about it's working, what does it do? You should go ahead and build a trace table. When you have a full grip over the trace table, then you can mentally calculate everything and tells in like you can tell in one minute or a few seconds what it is. So before that, you need to have expertise in completing the trace table, which is very important. Okay, so flag is zero, count is one. Let's go to our trace table and flag zero, count is one. Next step is, is name count greater than name count plus one? So we have this array, its name is name with the N capital. And the first value name one is Jamal. The second value name two is Amir. And the count is one. It means we need to check if name one is greater than name two. Whenever you see something like these square brackets in front of a variable name, it should automatically come to your mind that it's about an array. And the value in this bracket is the location in the array. So whenever you see name one, you should automatically go to the first element in the array named name. Okay, so they want us to check if Jamal is greater than Amir. So these are not digits. These are alphabets. We know that Jamal J uh, comes later than A. So it means Jamal is greater than Amir. So yes, it is greater. Next step is to put name one in temp. So name one holds Jamal. We will put Jamal in temp. Then name count should hold name count plus one. So Amir should go to the place of Jamal. So here we have updated name one. Next step is name count plus one should hold the value in the temp. So basically we are changing the places for these values and we want to put the smaller alphabet at the prior location. Next step is flag is one. So now our flag is one, count is count plus one, so our count is two. Then is count equal four? Uh, no, count is two. So we will go back here and then again we will check name two and name three. So now name two has Jamal, name three has Eve. Again, Jamal is greater than Eve. So we will go to the yes part and there is the same process. We will put the Jamal in temp. And then we will name three should be moved to name two. So name three holds Eve. We will put Eve in place of Jamal here. And then we will put the value in temp, which is Jamal back to name three. So Jamal is here. Okay, next step, flag is one. Count is count plus one. Again, count is not equal to four yet. So let's go back again, check name count. This time name count means name three. So we will check if name three is greater than name four. Name three holds Jamal here. We will see the updated value, note the initial array this time. So name three holds Jamal. And Jamal is definitely greater than Tara. No, it's not. So we will come to this no part. And 
increase the count nothing happened then count is equal to 4 yes is flag is equal to 0 no not yet so we will go back to the start value and flag is 0 count is again 1 okay so next step is again name 1 is greater than name 2 so name 1 is now Amir so in case you are wondering why there are empty values so you can you know fill it I'm not filling it due to the time constraint in your exam or in your test when you are doing the question of completing the trace table if the value of the variable is not changed you should just write it again and again so it's all Amir 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 it's all Eve 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 it's all Jamal Jamal and this is Tara all the way here so we will check so now Amir is greater than Eve no it's not so we will go to the no part here increase the count flag is still zero count is not four we will go back here this time we will check if name two is greater than name three so name two is Eve name three is Jamal is Eve greater than Jamal no so we will again go to increase the count flag is still zero and then we will check if flag is not four so we will again go back and check if name three is greater than name four so name three is Jamal name four is Tara Jamal is definitely not greater than Tara so we'll come again here and increase the count okay now count is four is flag zero yes flag is also zero so let's end the flowchart here okay so now let's fill in the trace table to see what is the final output so in the final step we have the names sorted out we have Amir, Eve, Jamal and Tara so these are in uh, ascending order now and the next question is describe what the algorithm represented by the flowchart is doing so you can say the algorithm is sorting out the names in an array in ascending order that's it that's how you can solve this question if you have any other questions or any other queries in mind you can comment on this youtube channel below or you can send a message on facebook